Alright, so I have a little Beatles song. Although I just seen a face. And I've seen a face I can't get the sound Play the movies and that she's just a couple of them I'm a rocket man. 
I've got one more for you guys. It's a little uh, kind of unknown from Mumford and Sons. It's called Feel the Tide. Anticipatory nerves only quiver. 
Bell's partner stood in silent reverence and awaited the unveiling. Had there been a brass band anywhere in the vicinity, it would certainly have played a grand fanfare as Bell swept aside the shroud that was covering something oddly familiar. It's, Watson began. Well, said Sanders, it has quite a, it's revolutionary, Bell crowed. To be just a bit blunt, said Watson, uh, bluntness as opposed to sharp criticism, you understand. It bears quite a striking resemblance to your last big invention. Sanders made a noise of agreement. Only on the surface, my friend, Bell smiled. Grant me just a short demonstration. He picked up the receiver and spoke into it from the party. Hello. Watson and Sanders jumped in unison as a flat mechanical voice burst from the speaker on the device. Hello, it said. H-A-L-L-O-W. Bell grinned. Watson and Sanders gaped. Well, Bell broke the silence first. It spelled your greeting wrong, didn't it? Watson observed. Not at all, said Bell, holding the receiver near his mouth. Not at all. K-N-O-T-A-T-O-L-L. -L. Seems there are still a few snags to work out, Sanders ventured. Nonsense, said Bell. It's functioning exactly as it was designed. Well then, I suppose I give up. What is it exactly? A homophone, of course. Sanders was taken aback. A homophone? Ah, I see. Hence the resemblance to the telephone. Quite right. This will be my second great invention. But what is it meant to do, really? Watson took up vigorous study of the craftsmanship on the floorboards. That is to say, it's, here's your answer. With a flourish, Bell pointed to a book lying open on the table. It was a thick, hard-covered dictionary in which one of the definitions had been circled. Homophone, phonetics, a word pronounced the same as another, but differing in meaning, whether spelled the same way or not, as air and air, H-E-I-R, A-I-R. Bell smiled and lifted the device's receiver again. Do you see? Do you see? D-E-W space Y-E-W space S-E-A. Sanders, aghast, quickly recovered himself. Oh, yes. Well, I can see how that could be quite useful. Wouldn't you say, Watson? Indeed. Every household will have one installed, of course. Watson appeared nearly as ill at ease in his own skin as a reanimated nudist mummy. Yes, Bell glowed. A revolution in the communication industry is on its way, and you fellows haven't even seen the half. Let me show you some other ideas I've been working on. I have the schematics over here. Sometime later, Watson and Sanders exited the room, closing the door behind them so as not to disturb the visionary's intellectual processing. They stared at each other for a moment. Such a pity, Sanders shook his head. It must be hard for the poor man, having reached his peak, having nowhere else to go. Yes. Watson paused. Quite a pickle, really. Create one great invention and you're forever stuck trying to surpass it, living up to standards and all that. A small period of reflection passed as the two let themselves out of the building. What do you think happens now? Watson asked. Coasting, my friend. You'll be coasting for quite a long way. featuring these mummies, they will be featuring Ashley Gravel and Colin Glasso. Okay, but um, let's see. For for our newest secretary, we have Ethan Pelletier. That's me. That's you. Our newest our newest treasurer is Mike Rubeshi. Uh, the art director uh, this year is going to be myself, Colin Glasso. Editor Jenna Kilduff. 
And the editor-in-chief for the 2012-2013 year is Ashley Gravel. Um, this year, the Helix is actually celebrating its 35th anniversary. Yes, three, five, 35th year, 35 years of releasing two uh, wonderful issues of poetry, po uh, poetry, prose, art, photography, you name it, um, twice a year. Um, we've been going for 35 years now. Next semester, we're going to have our big uh, 35th anniversary issue. If you are an artist or a writer, um, or a photographer, and if you're interested in submitting, please talk to anyone who, if you see, um, wearing uh, one of these uh, purple uh, uh, Helix cardigans, like Lacey's got right here with the big swirly H on the back, we'll uh, tell you about um, how to submit, or if you talk to somebody who's at the table, um, other, than, other than the guys there right now, we're, it, it, it's ironic, right? It's so ironic. Right, Nick? Ironic? You love that word. Whatever. <laughs> um, and um, so we have a few people who are leaving us some uh, core staff members this semester. Uh, some people are graduating, and um, I'd just like to take a moment to thank you guys very much. Uh, no matter how long you've been here, I'm sure you've left a very lasting impression, um, whether you're an editor or if you're a general staff member. Um, no matter what you did, we really appreciate it, and um, we'd like to thank Leslie, Sarah, I'm going to applaud for everyone, but we'll especially applaud for, for Leslie. Leslie, Sarah, Jasmine, Kyle, Shauna, and Ariane. Thank you so much. Take a bow. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we have some poetry. I think you're the I just did, I was just on stage. So the first piece I'm going to read is um, written by myself, and it's called The Thomason Dive. Foundation A tall pile of dirt, compacted against slanted slides. Sprinkled with many mountains and potholes, bereft of water, descending from a slim slab of pavement. Guts, rocks, dirt, creased fast food cups, blown from the road, plunging the dam's insides like inevitable germs eluding boundaries. Taunting passing drivers, offering fraudulent nature, man-made, yet closer to it than those gimmicky shopping centers. All those rocks and rigid edges, stripping from the ledge, Proposing an alternative with one false switch of the steering wheel. Imagine, fumbling a car, down, 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 the dry, lumpy mountain, jerking all the way to the shallow splash at the bottom, 